is bath. Alright guys, so you probably recognize this thing from our centripetal dice set video. And unfortunately, it is not working right at the moment. This thing works, but only sometimes. And sometimes, it's not good enough. So I'm going to turn this over to Dad and explain what we're going to be doing to try and fix okay. it. Inside, the sliding lock me mechanisms are really short. They're at the center, so when they spin it, it doesn't unlock. They don't slide outward. We're going to have to re-drill and we need to make these locking mechanisms longer so that the weight of them will want to go to the outside when we spin it so that it'll unlock it. Hey Google, can you translate what my dad was talking about? Okay. The problem is, is that we were a bunch of buffoons and made the bolts too short, meaning that there was not enough weight at the end of the bolt for the centrifugal force to pull them away from the middle of the box. Also, each bolt slid too far into the other's hole, leaving the weight of the rods mainly in the center, contributing to their lack of motion. This narration has been known to cause dizziness, nausea, hallucinations, mad leprechauns, winking impairment of the left eye, bloody noses from the fifth dimensions, and enlarged belly buttons that grow fungus. <laughs> And now that we got our holes filled, we are running over to the band, or no, not the bandsaw, the drill press to put some holes in these things with the 12 inch, 12 inch bit. We're going to try and get it as straight as possible with a jig and it'll probably just be easier if we show you. He's making a shim. See, can you see it? He's making a shim. Wow, that's some excellent zooming right there. That's, that's crazy. Okay, so new plan of attack. We can't actually do the drilling with the long bit like this. We can't do the whole thing with it because the whole box thing is cockeyed. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it started straight with this smaller bit and then finish it off with this mighty one. Okie doke, dokey doke. Now we can upgrade to the big gun. Okay guys, so that first attempt was a huge fail. I don't know if you can see that in the hole, but yeah, you probably can't see that, but it's not straight and it's kind of lumpy and the rod was not going in and out very well. So let's run through that again, only this time do it right. And that is how you do it, folks. This thing goes in there much nicer. You know, it might not look like it, but it goes in there much nicer. And you know why it worked? Because we used a wevel. Because <laughs> Weez is smart. You is kind. You is smart. You is... <laughs> so now it's time to cut our rods. How much, how long did you say you wanted? Here would be right even with the, right even with it. So a half inch less would be three and a half inches. Three and a half it is. <laughs> Guys, we just want to let you all know that we evolve as creators. So instead of a hacksaw this time, we're using bolt cutters. Let's see if this makes it easier. Oh, that was powerful. Time to copy and paste. Kablooey! Yeah! So we thought that these old bolts would just stay in there with wood putty, but as it turns out, that doesn't work at all. So you know what? When you're faced with a problem, what do you do? As it turns out, these rods are a little too thick to go into those holes, so we're going to just slim them down a little bit with the sandpaper dial. Okay, the rods fit, 
Now we need to put it together before we sticky stick the rods back into their holy holes. Okay guys, it's time to put these bad boy rod thingy majiggies in our holes and seal them up and then pray that it works. What? Uh, are, you, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Nope. I forgot to put the rods in! What the crap, man? Ah! Oh, that's one. <laughs> Oh yes, and for those of you who kindly did not point out our mistake in our last video, which, thank you guys, we really appreciate that. Our egos are very, very delicate. Also, this is a six, not a five. Knock. Spin ready? It. Spin it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard him sling back. one of these spinning locks guys. Two things you have to focus on. You got to make the bolts long enough but you also have to make sure that they meet in the middle but don't go in too far. That's the key. Thanks again for watching this mini DIY guys. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. We're sorry we didn't get a new project out this week. There should be one next week but until next time make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and we'll catch you on the flip flip.